It is the home stretch of the Golden Globes race, and here to weigh in with his predictions is senior TV editor Michael Schneider. Michael, good to have you as always. Golden Globes fever, catch oh, it! I know. <laughs> here yeah, we go. I caught something. You I don't know what it is. <laughs> so tell me who you think is going to win big. Well, let's start with the drama category. I do think the crown is the front runner right now. Okay. It's got all the elements that the HFPA loves. It's about foreign royalty. It's about the <laughs> British, uh, you know, the, the queen, Queen yeah. Elizabeth. It stars Olivia Coleman, who I believe is also the front runner to win in drama actress, uh, because they love her as well. Where would Great Britain be without its greatest Britain? Now, the spoiler could be the morning show. We know how much they love the stars of the morning show. Yes. They love Reese Witherspoon. Mm -hmm. They love Jennifer Aniston. There's a lot of great shows nominated this year. Uh, Succession would be another great one because the Emmys haven't given the, the best drama award to Succession. So this sure. is a chance for the HFPA to come in first. We aim to please. Flipping over the comedy, mm -hmm. uh, that's an interesting race. Uh, you've got Fleabag, which dominated at the Emmys. Yes. And, you know, as a result, is sort of a front runner here as well because mm -hmm. who doesn't love Phoebe Waller-Bridge absolutely uh, but it's a wealth of uh, choices uh, you've got Barry you've got the Kaminsky method which won last year I don't feel the heat uh, in season two so I think that's a little more of a long shot bubbling under all of that is the politician which is a Ryan Murphy production it's got all mm -hmm. the crazy elements that people love about Ryan Murphy and some big names as well big names as well but it's got comedy it's got drama it's got music it's got camp it's it's a fun show I'm warning you do not screw with my dream your ambition frightens me. Limited series, sure. uh, that's another sort of interesting category. Of course, we talked earlier about the, the big snub of when they see us, so that's not eligible. But Chernobyl, which again, dominated the Emmys, is eligible, and as a result, is a front runner. No. Chernobyl is on fire. Unbelievable on Netflix is one that you got to keep an eye on. That's just starting to bubble up. People are just starting to talk about that sure. show. The real long shot is Catch-22. I think they're just happy that George Clooney will probably show up to the ceremony. <laughs> I don't think we're in any uh, illusion that it's actually going to win. That's my last line again. Oh, no, sir, that's my last line. I read it to you just a moment ago. Now, what about the acting categories? So acting categories are interesting. I think Olivia Coleman again, is yes. the front runner for, for drama actress. On drama actor, Tobias Menzies on The Crown, if they just go for it, if they just love The Crown so much that it sweeps, yeah. He's a possibility. But I do think Billy Porter coming off the year that he had, people know who he is, uh, you know, they, they love him. They can't wait to see what he's gonna wear. And they love the message that, that he always comes through with and what he represents about how this industry is really evolving. So my hope is the HFPA. Uh, realizes that and and takes that message. Number one on the charts, and the word is out. On the comedy side, uh, it's an interesting mix because, like I mentioned, Phoebe Waller Bridge, front runner because she's had such an amazing year. Rachel Brosnahan has won the past two years for Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. She's still got to be in the mix as well. Yeah. And then you've got other great names, Natasha Lyonne, Christina Applegate, Kirsten Dunst, uh, who are all fantastic. It's anyone's, but I do think it's going to be Phoebe Waller-Bridge for the win there. I'm good at this. Comedy actor side, sort of between Michael Douglas and Bill Hader, but Ben Platt, again, if the HFPA Could be decides, the horse. they love them some politician, sure. and they, they want Ben Platt up there on stage, maybe he'll sing a quick number when he wins his award, <laughs> then that's a possibility. Although I'm putting my money a little bit more in Bill Hader, the star of Barry. Hey, listen to me. We can't... <laughs> Oh, no. Come on, man. What about in the limited series category? So limited series is also very interesting. You've got Helen Mirren, who starred in Catherine the Great, which didn't get a lot of attention. It's no, HBO yeah. limited series. But nonetheless, she's Helen Mirren. <laughs> I should say, she's Helen freaking Mirren. Yeah. So I think there's a real possibility she takes it home. But Michelle Williams, who won the Emmy, is there as well. Slaps the shoulders. Slaps. I don't think I've ever heard that word from a choreographer before. On the actor side, you do have Jared Harris, the star of Chernobyl. I think this is a chance for him to win something. But uh, Sasha Baron Cohen is someone that they also love at the HFPA. He's nominated for The Spy. He's a possibility. Russell Crowe really transformed himself into Roger Ailes in the loudest mm -hmm. voice. Uh, possibility as well. If they do love the Fosse Verdon, you've got Sam Rockwell. The long shot Christopher Abbott from Catch-22. But I'm going to kind of put my money on Jared Harris. Michael freaking Schneider. <laughs> Thank you, yes. as always, for more Golden Globe coverage you can visit variety.com